Here we are, walking through the swamp, checking out some long leaf pines being planted. Super cool area, just outside of Charleston, South Carolina. We're standing here today at Two Pines County Park. The unique thing about this park is it's perfectly conducive to longleaf planting. Longleaf ecosystems are one of the most biodiverse ecosystems in the world, and it's really something we're hoping to introduce to Charleston County Parks. Longleaf pine has different growth stages that it goes through. This is one of the younger trees that's still sitting in the grass stage, but these two trees were planted at the same time. Wow. As it gets more height growth, yep. it'll start to put outside branches. I think these are about five years old. Prior to us purchasing, this property was owned by a paper company, and so it was used for silvicultural harvesting of loblolly, which is a fast-growing pine species. When we purchased the park, we conducted a forest management plan, and the hope is that we can start restoring a native longleaf ecosystem to the park and really introducing both native longleaf species but also supporting species like red-cocated woodpeckers, potentially gopher frogs, and other unique species. So behind me is a nesting tree for a red-cocated woodpecker. And red-cocated woodpeckers are federally endangered species, and they're the only woodpecker to nest in live trees like super this. Cool, super cool. So they were listed on the Endangered Species Act, and now today we are getting close to downlisting them. So it's by recovering the forest, we've been able to recover the species. We stopped here because we were talking about the need for fire in longleaf landscapes. It's a fire adapted system and you can see this illustrated perfectly here. On this side of me, the road is a site that was just burned this past April. We're now in July. See that it's mostly herbaceous plants in the ground cover. But then if you turn to this other side of the road, this has been two to three years since fire. It's a dramatic difference. So if you have long leaf, it's important to burn it in order to keep these herbaceous, diverse ground cover system intact. So this particular part of the park was burned about a year ago. It kills back invasives, it spurs growth, really provides a whole lot of benefits to Charleston County Parks. This burn was from February and super healthy tree canopy here. <laughs>